Elizabeth told me how much time you spent here sitting vigil. Comes with the dinner. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. I'm going to be your new stepdad soon. You and my mother are getting married? Well, if I have anything to say about it. So you and my mother, first love reunited, huh? Yeah. You realize how we feel about each other. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I had some idea, given that every time I went to Paris to visit her, you found a reason to be at her apartment. It was clear that every time I wasn't around that uh, the two of you were spending quite a bit of time together. Well, it's the best years of my life, you know. It stops and starts and the detours, I think, were where we're supposed to be. Then why the doubts, Scott? Uh, you know, sometimes the mind gets to work in overtime. Take this stuff personally all the time. What do you mean? Well, you know, the stuff hits the fan. Your sister goes missing. You'd think that your mother would turn to me. But no, she turns to Luke. Well, if it's any consolation, Scott, I, I never truly understood my mother's love for Luke. I don't hate the guy. I do. But, uh, right. Um, but he is a difficult person to understand, although he's never pretended to be anything else. I mean, he saved my life, put me through hell, back and forth, you know. I like to think that uh, that we've reached a place of mutual respect. It's just we have too many people in common not to try and coexist. Maybe you should try and do the same, if only for my mother's sake. So you don't object that I, I marry your mother? Well, you make her happy, don't you? Otherwise, she wouldn't have accepted your proposal, right? I'd like to think so. Yeah, well, there you go. That's half the battle. Now all you have to do is what Luke won't. Stay. Stick around. Don't give up. Do that, and my mother will come back to you. So I bet you're excited to see Nicholas. Yes, how is he? He's good, he's good. He's been asking about you. Oh. Well, I should go see him now, then. OK. OK. Scott, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been here with him. Well, you know I'll do anything for you. Aren't you going to scurry after her? Let's get one thing straight, Spencer. You keep your hands off of Laura. Elizabeth, it's me. Uh, I know you said you would call me if you heard anything, but uh, it, it, if my mother calls, could you please just get... <laughs> Never mind, she's here. You can go erase this. Hi. Hi. Oh, what a relief to see you awake. How do you feel? I'm fine. How's Lulu? She's being checked out as we speak. If anything would have happened to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. This is not your fault. Now, well, Anna Devane is uh, passing along updates through the WSB, but there hasn't been many details. Is it true Helena is dead? Yes, she's dead. <sighs> Nicholas, there's something else that I have to tell you. It's about your father. He's dead, too. Oh. I killed him. So you're half Kate and mm -hmm. half Connie. Ding, ding. I already did. Kind of had a feeling it would end like this. He was your father. It's all right for you to let yourself feel this loss. Yeah, trust me. It's better than the alternative. There's no way he would have let you go alive, not without Elena keeping him in check. Well, I wanted you to hear it from me. Thank you. <sighs> wow. My father, my uncle, my grandmother. <laughs> Everyone's gone. Alexis and I are the last of the family. I am your family. So are Lucky and Lulu. Don't forget that. Oh. Please don't regret what you did, okay? I, I'm sure Stavros gave you no choice. That's not true. I had a choice. 
And I chose not to let Stavros hurt any of us ever again. You know, Stavros drugged Luke and me, and he held us captive. And then we got away and we found Lulu. And we believed her to be dead, and I felt a rage come up in me like I've never felt in my life. And I killed him. It was not self-defense. I did have a choice, but I... I chose to end his life, and I will live with that now. No, well, that's... it's okay. If I'd have known what he had planned, I would have killed him myself. In fact, I should have when I had the chance, but like an idiot, I thought... No! Would... You're not an idiot! You're not! You're a son who wants to believe the best of his father. And that almost got my sister killed. I mean, I'm just glad that she's all right. What, there's that look again. What is it? What aren't you telling me about Lulu? It's good to see you out of bed, Nick. Thank you. <clears throat> Any word about Lulu? Has Patrick finished the exam? He, he wants to keep her overnight. Does she know that? I'll go tell her. Uh, Dante. Maybe it would be better if she heard this from her mother. Yeah, well, she doesn't remember me any more than she remembers Dante. Well, no, but she trusts you more than she trusts us. I think somewhere deep down she knows. She's in there. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I just want to thank you for trying to warn us about Stavros. You're welcome. Just wish I would have been in time. Are you kidding me? You got shot in the process. I won't forget that. Lulu's gone. What? 